Hey there, and welcome back to our cooperative Let's Play in Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai. With me is Mr. Smart Donkey. Hello. And I, of course, am Tolmy. So, last time, you gave me a province, essentially. Yay. In Fukushima. So I now have two provinces and still have no money. And you, uh, did you, yeah, you attacked these guys down in the south and took Totomi. And then they got wiped out by the Kakagawa. So that was a bit oh, of yeah, a... Oh yeah, they did as well. Yeah, attack of opportunity down there. And you became the the Josai Shogunal Vanguard. Yeah, I sure did. Actually, we can also see the Sega Imperial Vanguard on uh, Awa. I'm not sure if you can see that as well. Awa? Where's right over Awa? There. Put it on the map. Uh, maybe. Uh, I can't see them, but I can see the name, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's, um... Okay. <clears throat> so apparently, I guess they're the, the, the same as me, but for the other clan, except they look quite small. Yeah, I mean, they have two provinces. Yeah, and they're in two different places. Yeah, they couldn't really be much further apart, could they? <laughs> no, not really. No. Was that even a province before, that uh, Nagasaki? Uh, no, I don't think so. That's uh, like an out of the one. Oh. And I'm pretty sure that Goto Island and Tushima over there are also two new provinces. Well, I yeah. know that they are two new provinces, if they Goto are Goto definitely is, yeah. Yeah, and Tushima also. But that used to be a trade thing. And Tan Tanegashima. Is that one you said, Tanegashima? Tanegashima? No, I did not say that's that. That's off the south, it's an island, which was another trade. Oh, over there, port. yeah. That's, so I guess yeah. they just made all the trade ports into new islands. Yeah, three of them, because there used to be one over here as well. Or actually, yeah. sort of over here. Yeah. So, so that, that was there was one. there was one at Goto. There was one at the one that I'm going to try to pronounce again. Tsushima. That bottom. And in the yeah, bottom, that yeah. One. Right. Yeah. And there was one in the middle as well. Yeah, there was one so, around here. Yeah. Yeah, and so then and then that one there. And there used to be one all the way up here as well somewhere. Yeah, but they turned that into a province. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Oh, big province. Right, yeah. so I was working on building armies, or my second one anyway. Uh, I also noticed my geisha here leveled up, so it's just shock points for her and things that I really don't give a crap anymore about. I just <laughs> this campaign has just gone over my head, really. I'm, I'm not really bothered with anything here. Entertaining nobles, you're very good at that. Keep keep it up. <laughs> she can entertain me while I do nothing. <laughs> yeah. And this army that's in Shimotsuke, I was thinking of leaving it around there just because I don't know if you're going to be able to handle everything there. But um, I can handle defense, but I can't really move out anywhere just because I've still got enemies on both sides. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take my army from Totomi, and I was gonna move them north to South Shinada because I don't have any more allies to my um, west. So I'm just gonna move them up. I do have an ally at the Yodo, uh, and I don't know if the Yodo are actually going to um, become friendly because yeah, like like we said last time, it says now. All who are loyal to the Shogun have rallied behind you, rallied behind you. But that hasn't happened yet, so I think that may happen next time on the next turn, basically. Yeah, because they haven't had their turn since you became the Vanguard yet. Yeah, so, so I reckon that's what's going to happen, and then yeah. uh, and then I won't have to worry about them anymore. You know, I should be able to just go through, and then I can take out uh, Etchu for you. And um, that would be nice. And I'm, then I'm freed up to actually do something. Yeah, I won't be able to take Sado, but I guess maybe you can do that yourself or something. Well, maybe as long as I can protect my capital from Sado and have an army to move up and sort of hold the front line, it's okay. Yeah. Because right now I've got, well, half an army that's kind of depleted and shit in Fukushima and a whole army in Echigo, but I can't move it out because then I'll get attacked in the back if I do. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, so, um, I was just making more units... I don't know what exactly I'm going to make for this army. Some cavalry, oh, actually I'll make the cavalry later because they're more expensive. I want more katana kachi. I already have two in this army but they have shit armor. Actually oh, fuck it, I'm, not, I'm just going to keep that armor. <laughs> and um, I'm going to make more bows as well. Just queue up a whole lot of units. Yeah, you uh, got katanas and bows yes. and uh, a couple of cav. Yeah, four cav and then two yari as well I believe. Yeah, but Yari the Yari is not overly important, to be honest. No, nah, they're good against the uh, anti-cav, but then I've got the Yari key for anti-cav as well. Yeah, you you got, you got cav on cav, and then you can use your um, your swordsman as backup. So the the the, the pikes are I mean, the the spears are really only wonderful against cavalry when they're charging at you. 
once they're sort of bogged down in combat, a samurai will do just. I mean, a swordsman will do just as well as a pikeman. True. Although on the other hand, what I always like to do is, um, at least that's what I do in the regular game, is I like to have a few yara units just as a front line. Ooh, ah, right. Of course, the Saga Imperial Guard has declared war on me. <laughs> what a uh, shock! Including a bunch of allies. I, I shouldn't ask you in, should I? Um, you, you can if you want, but I, I can't help you with anything, so. Okay, let's just not do it then. Oh, no one of their allies joined them either, but I guess they will just oh, be like... They oh. declare war on me anyway, so... Oh, alright. Alright, well, yeah. But yeah, anyway, I like to have four Yara units just as a front line, so they can take the brunt, and then I use the katanas to do the damage from the sides and, and to strengthen off the lines, but then the Yaris take the, the damage and the katanas can do the damage. Yeah. That's sort of that, the that, uh, general that. idea. But then you wouldn't need cavalry. Yeah, but the cavalry is for flanking and stuff. Like even if it's just uh, cavalry on cavalry, it's good. But also just to attack uh, archers and attack things in the rear. Yeah, true enough. So the Obama are offering me uh, a military alliance, which I'm gonna take because Sounds I'm like guessing this is plan. just like the whole thing. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna like all of our friends are gonna become friends. They didn't even want to. Uh, let's let's go to a military alliance. The guy who has two provinces rather than the actual new shogun or whatever. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Does doesn't it? I wonder if it's going to be like uh, this clan has joined your enemies. This clan has joined your enemies. Oh, here we go. The Yodo have offered Perhaps me a peace treaty. If you listen to my offer, sure. Do you want to pay me for it? Some Trade in the idea and a payment of. Okay, they don't even pay me a thousand. Well, in that case, fuck it. I want um, an alliance with you as well. Nice. They'll take it. Um, and we also join my war against. Oh damn! I have four enemies all of a sudden. The hell did they come from? They're the allies of the the Shogunate guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, they'll join me as well. Actually, that's really good. Oh wow, they already have a lot of enemy enemies, including the ones I'm already at war with. I think. So they're probably whatever. just fighting everyone on the west coast. Yeah. Well, that'll be a nice uh, blockade between. A little buffer zone. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. See, I wonder if those guys are going to go to war with me again because they actually, I think they're the, they're imperial as well. Well, if they're pro-emperor, they probably will do, yeah. Uh, emperor. Yeah, not imperial. Oh, here we go. War declared on by the Matsume. Ah, oh, okay. Those are the yellow ones up top that you're going to go after when you're yeah. ready. Yeah, I was already at war with them, so... Yeah, I'll call you both in, including the Yodo. Well, you can't call me in, because I'm already at war. Well, yeah, but... yeah. So thing. it sucks to be you. I can't <laughs> help you, because I'm already fighting them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to help you. Alright, so Takayama declared war on me, I'm mounting unrest in Fukushima, I was expecting that, because we don't have the army inside the actual town yet. So let's move them inside, now everyone's happy, that's good. Can't recruit anything, so I don't have enough money. Port is damaged, I'm not going to bother, oh, even if I could fix it, I'm not going to, because it's going to cost me too much money. We've been bombarded in Echigo and Fukushima, which is lovely. What kind of damage did we take here? They damaged the cadet school, the port is already fucked, and everything else is sort of fine actually. It's just annoying that they keep bombarding me every turn, there's going to be nothing I can do about it. Yeah. There's, uh, let's see, five uh, and eight, so that's 13 ships sitting outside my port. Oh wow, even if you made a full navy you wouldn't be able to deal with it. Yeah, that's that's from two different people, and they've got some fucking big ships in there too. So yeah, thirteen ships just to fucking smash me. Met a couple of clans, not bothered about that. The Obama were destroyed apparently. Oh. <laughs> and I just made a military alliance with them too. <laughs> All right, so war declared and war declared, whatever. I think they're my next targets actually. The, the, I'm gonna take that Sado place there, and then I'm gonna take uh, the Kakaga or Takayama out. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure that's where my army's going anyway. Uh, well, I can actually ask for a military alliance with the Kakagawa. Oh are yeah, they, the Kakagawa. Yeah, I was gonna ask you the, the Kakagawa. Yeah, they are Shogun. That that's good because those are ones next to the Yodo, and they're actually they are a pretty decent clan. It, sadly, that I killed like a lot of them already, but whatever. Yeah, go oh. go ask them. I, I'm gonna ask them for military lines as well. Uh, well, I can ask them to join the wars as well, which they will accept. Yeah, the Yodo accepted that as well. All right. Oh my so... god, the Yodo is massive, by the way. Holy shit! I just realized. Are they? Yeah, I don't have to take any of this shit over here. This is all ours, basically. Uh, let's see if they will. 
pay me money. No, they won't pay me money. Yeah, they wouldn't but... pay me money either. Like pricks. What the hell? Yeah, it's worth a try. I mean, I could use money. All right. So, is it going to tell me? Nice. All right. So, trade agreement, and now a military uh, alliance, nice. and they joined the war. Nice. I'm going to do the same thing. And let's see if we can get the Miyazu as well. That, that is that friendly. is nice about this campaign, about the fall of the samurai, is that you actually have allies that might be meaningful. Like in Shogun 2, when you had an ally, you, they could betray you at any second anyway. In this yeah. case, it seems like you're fighting for a similar cause, so they would stay with you. Yeah. We've got the Miyazu as well, nice. who apparently are mighty and affluent. Ooh. And they've just joined the war. And Oh my god, they're over there. Wow, we're... Holy shit. Actually, that's yeah. going to be a problem, because we, yeah, we do need to... Yeah, we do need to... We need to we need to hold forty eight provinces eventually anyway. Yeah, so between we us to... and our allies. No, no, no. That's that's um. There's two things. There's loyal provinces, which there is fifty eight that we need to have, and there is provinces held by us, which we need to have forty eight of. So oh. we need to actually maybe take out some of our allies at some point, but that's for later. Well, let's take out the enemies first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and worry about that later. All right. So that's all the diplomacy shit that I can do. Um. My development is fine. Finance, I think I can do anything else with. Yeah, I can't do anything else with my finance right now. Clan management is fine, so let's end turn. Alright. Yeah. Actually had a fairly long turn for a reason that time. Clan joined your enemy, Sado and Takayama. Alright, I'm going after you, so whatever. Oh, my province got bombarded. My port's blo uh, damaged. Oh, no. oh wow, navy. the... The Miyazu are on the same island as the Awa, like the Imperial Vanguard. Oh yeah, they are. Oh my god, yeah, those guys are massive as well. The Yodo and those guys are actually yeah, they're just about huge. as big as I am, yeah. Yeah, well, between them they're as big as you are, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, They've I got guess. more military than you do, but that's because yeah. you've given half yours away, so. Yeah, I've got a pretty tiny military, to be honest. It's small um, but elite, that's the point. That's true. Yeah. Although I'm missing a lot of armor on a lot of those units, but hey. Yeah, actually, they're not even all that experienced, to be honest. No. <laughs> it's really not that good of an army. It, it, like, it's, it's a good well, it, setup, but it's not like a, a particularly amazing army. Yeah, it needs more experience. If it had more experience, it'd be a really good army. Yeah. But it's just sort of almost new recruits, yes, so... Yep. Oh well, it's fine. It'll work. It sure will. And the it's second one is being made as well. All right, so this guy is gonna keep going. Oh man, I have to, actually I can go through my allies' territory. Oh no, it's actually not that smart. I need to get to Etchu first. Right. So anyway, I'm also gonna do the same thing. Miyazu. Wait, I'm still allies. Of our, or these guys are actually. Um. But politics makes for. They are uh, hostile towards me. Oh. Well. Probably the other allies. Oh no, the Yodo are actually very friendly with me right now. Even yeah. though we were to, we were at war with them, but that's because they declared war on me. I didn't declare war on them. Yeah, exactly. So it's not your fault, is it? I have better what? things to do than the uh, Miyazu will take a military or a, yeah, military alliance with you, but not with me. And try to make sense. Uh, well, they were very friendly with me. Yeah, that's. Want to join my wars against these people? Ah, okay. If I just ask for a trade agreement and military alliance, they don't take it. But if I ask them to join the war against the Tsuma Tosani Rado, they'll. Um, oh wait, no, that's me telling them I will join their wars. Yeah, but then hmm. their wars are like past them anyway. So it doesn't actually affect you. Yeah, I'll just ask for uh, joining the war against the Satsuma, and that'll do it. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. I got another ally as well, and a trade agreement. Hey, trade agreements are always good. Definitely. Oh, and now we can see a lot more of the map, because we're opening up trade routes. Yes, we have. Alright, sweet. Oh god, there's there's definitely some big armies around here from uh, all our allies. Definitely yep. not, not going to be as easy as I thought. Well, fine. they will be once we've uh, dealt with the other guys. Yeah, the, the thing is, though, once we've taken all the the provinces from our enemies and there's nothing left to take except for our, our allies, that's when we're going to be divided because, like, I'm going to have a bunch of provinces up here, most likely, unless they take it before I get there. And then I might have a, a few provinces around there or whatever, and then, like, I'm going to be divided all over the place, which could be pretty annoying. Well, you won't be divided from me. I played service. No, which I guess, is fine because yeah. as long as we get rid of the other guys, then even if you lose those provinces, we've still got a, a united front over in the, over in the east, so we yeah, can push true. back towards the west even if they take it. Yeah, that's true. And you'll always be around here anyway because you'll be busy with the stuff to the north for a while. Exactly. Yeah. Once I start getting some more yes. money in from this new trading, then uh, hopefully I'll be able to build a, a half decent army I can actually threaten them with. 
All right, moving to Etchy will take me about five turns or so, sadly. Ouch. Eh, I'm gonna go for my allies' territory. All right, so clan development. Yeah, right. That's all stuck. I've been stuck for ages on that. I wonder how. how what's my clan? Yeah, I'm at uh, zero points in the modernization as well. Oh. I'm never gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm just... I think I might be uh, getting towards it. Oh, the the Sioux have declared war on me. Are you at war with them? Yeah, they have one province. Uh, basically, where the Atari starts on the regular um, campaign. Oh, are you currently at war with them? Or I not? think I am. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, you're not. I can pull oh. you in or not. It's up to you. Yeah, might as well. They're they're gonna die soon. I'm sure. Like they they've got nowhere to go right there. They're completely. Yeah, they just had three people to their war on them, so nice. they're kind of fucked. Stupid Sendai. Yeah. I've been playing so much regular Shogun lately that now I feel like I can't move anywhere. Like everything is so slow because it's like two week turns rather than three months. So you move yeah. like a lot less. Although, in in the amount of time it would take you to move that three months worth of movement, you move a lot further. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. So overall, you do go a lot further. But it just yeah, it's just yeah, it. more turns. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if I like that or not. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. I think two two weeks is a bit of a, a an odd number anyway. I I would have preferred a month. Yeah, it, I would have preferred that too. I wonder what the Yodo army is, uh, is up to right here. He seems to be moving east towards my provinces. Luckily, I've got my army right there, so if you've got any funny ideas, take him aren't, out. Aren't you allied with him? Yeah, I am, but I don't know. He might have funny ideas. Hmm. I'm not sure where he thinks he's going, then. Yeah. Unless that's... he's going up towards the guys. Oh, the Sendai and stuff. I guess that could be uh, a thing. Yeah, that's a long way to go. Yeah, it is. But then again, he, yeah, he's not... No, he is bored with some enemies, like the Takayama are his enemies as well, so I don't know what he's planning there. I have oh, well. no idea. Should I fix my cadet school? Probably should. I'm just gonna, it's going to cost me 240. Yeah, I'm going to fix my cadet school. Hopefully they won't fucking smash it again, although I bet they will. Oh, let's look at plan development. Alright, so I have three turns of Revolver Cavalry, and then I've got to do more stuff that really I don't care about. At least most of it I don't care about. Oh, hold on. If I got Foreign Affairs, I would unlock Royal Marines, United States Marines, and Infantry de, 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 de Marine. Yeah, those are the ones I was uh, telling you about in the video that I showed you. Yeah, I saw that in your uh, your Let's Fuck About video number three. So if you yeah. haven't seen it, go watch it on Mr. Smart Donkey's channel. Yay, advertisements. <laughs> Plugs, yeah, they they looked pretty pretty good actually. Yeah, they were wrecking. I mean, it was it was against the stupid silly shit units, but still, their 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 um, accuracy is ridiculous. Yeah, they Clan did joins your enemy, Tosa, Hirado, and fu fu Fukuoka. Okay. Oh, and uh, eager to serve a general for a thousand bucks. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Koyasho, Koyosha. Rumors abound about the rise of the Kyosha, a secret society dedicated to the isolationism of the feudal samurai way. There's likely no cause for great concern. You'll be informed, inf informed should this situation change. Okay. I wonder what the hell that's going to be. Okay. Sounds All right. like ninjas to me. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it's going to be. It seems mm. weird. Actually, speaking of ninjas, I saw those, uh, those ninjas in your fuck about video and they looked awesome. Oh yeah, they are pretty awesome. I didn't realize they were like that good. They looked really good. <laughs> and that one unit running away from them, he stood no chance. Yeah. But they move so quick. They would be great for flanking. Units. Yeah, they they really do. Like they're they're probably like one and a half times normal speed, and and this cavalry's like two times normal speed or something. So that so sounds they, about They're like right, halfway yeah. between. Yeah. Yeah. I think. And obviously less. Uh, Less vulnerable to spears as well, so yeah, indeed. In some situations, may well be better than cavalry. Definitely. All right, so I got this regular um, time here. What is that? Wow, he's a terrible general. He's got he's he's got a trade called self-center, which gives his minus one to loyalty. Oh wow! What uh, a douchebag. Yeah, so he starts with two loyalty. That's a terrible. I don't want him to be to lead a main army. That's for sure. I may I may just. I mean, I'm just going to use from exploration mission this guy. I'm not going to use him at all. Well, he does give you plus two volleys uh, from 
naval bombardment. Yeah, like I may have him in a in a second army, but I'm not going to have him in a main army. Like he's not going to lead an army anyway. No, wait, two more shells per volley. Give me better yeah, than he's pretty volleys. good though. Uh, maybe I'll shove him in my second army instead of this guy, but I don't know. Fuck it, I'll just leave him there for now. He's probably I'm probably not going to use him though. He sounds yeah. shit. You certainly wouldn't want him as your main general anyway. No. <coughs> I wonder if he counts as giving you that uh, extra shells thing if he's the secondary general. Yeah, he would. That's cool. Yeah. Because you could have like five of them with secondary shells <laughs> and just obliterate everything. If it was a thing I could choose, definitely, yeah. That would be awesome. Alright, actually, I should have a look at my agents. Like, I'm sure... Oh, I've got five eight agents only. I thought I had more. Like, I don't even know what all these agents even do. Like, I just I haven't been using agents at all. Fuck it. Center. It's because they're so expensive. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to move the stupid navy. Uh, I I just... I, I don't care about my campaign in this one. Like... Nah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, the Sioux. I, I said they were shit, but apparently they have a... It's, yeah, the, the Sioux. An army there, so they took out part of the Yodo, but the Yodo have got an army there, so that should be fine. And I'm gonna, I guess I might make a detour to go there, otherwise I'm actually threatened as well. Well, yeah, the Yodo have their army, like, literally right next to them. Yeah, so hopefully they do something about it, we'll see. Yeah, looks like they're thinking about it. Sorry yeah, about the coughing, yeah, by the way. They're moving towards them, yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Hopefully yeah. they can beat them. They'll have a big old fight over there. Kind of a shame you can't get involved actually. Well, you could, but pretty too, very much too far away. Yeah, I don't. If I can get in range in one turn, it might be possible, but I don't think I can. It's like I get all this new trade and they immediately start fucking blockading me. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Come to our attention that we are not fielding any shinobi, despite having the ability to recruit them. We can. Uh, I recommend that we can recruit elite. Uh, uh, that we recruit one at the first opportunity. So they want me to recruit a shinobi in the next seven turns and I will get Deadly Shadows, which is plus 10% the chance of successful actions for 12 turns. That's useless for me because I couldn't afford to use a shinobi even if I had one. Apparently I can recruit one though. Fucking lies. Oh, unless I can get it in... in Fukushima. I can, I can get it in Fukushima if I had the money, which I don't. I can so. give you money, but I guess you don't want it anyway. Not to buy ninjas with, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind money to build an army with, but at the same time, I still can't upkeep it, so... Well, you know what we could do? Is, mm. um... Do the, um... I pay you a thousand every turn for... Like, 20 turns or something. Or 10 turns to start with. Mm. You could do that one, and then, like... I should be able to easily keep that up. And then you keep having an, a, a solid income at least, so you may be able to upkeep your armies, and we don't have to constantly trade every few turns. Well, we could do that. What I'm thinking is, I don't really want these spear levy. They're pretty shit, and they're, they're not really shit. doing me any good. And yeah, shit, yeah. so, but I can't actually. I, no, I can't recruit any. Samurai. Um, Kachi. Actually, I can recruit a uh, Yari Kachi. Hmm. They're fucking expensive though. 800. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's probably expensive. cheaper for you to make the, the Yari stuff or the Kachi because uh, I have modernization and you don't. Uh, let me see. Uh, they cost, yeah, 714 for me to make. Yeah, so it However, costs uh, 100 I, more. I can make them, but it will take a few turns because I'm still making my second army. Yeah, I mean. Hmm. I can, well, I can make them in, in a different town, but then they won't, they won't have the silver armor. I'm not overly fussed about that, to be honest. Okay. But, at the same time... Well, then again, but then I could even make the katanas if you'd rather have those. Well, I would, but you're making them for... Well, actually, you can make katanas in the other town, can't you? Um, yeah, I can make them in several towns. I mean, it would be, it would be nice to have um, katanas instead, but at the same time... I mean, improved katanas, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter too much, because the, the upgrades aren't that great. Well, they are they are cheaper to upkeep as well over the uh, Yari. Slightly, not much, but might make a difference. Yeah, I mean the armor upgrade is only one armor per upgrade, so the difference is really fairly minimal. Yeah, and I can make them with free experience in a different town as well. All right. Well, what I'd like to do. I could also is make a Kisho Ninja. <laughs> Kisho Ninja. 
I would really like to remove all of these spear levy from Achigo. Actually, if I send all of them north up to Fukushima, in fact, if I send all of them and the one matchlock catchy north, then I will have four matchlock catchy up there and a whole bunch of spear levy that I can just basically sacrifice to try and grab some more land. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. If anything, you're you're defending uh, Fukushima by going outward. Yeah. So if you could um, build me a few Katana Kachi units and send them over towards Echigo. Yep. Then I'll do that. That will work because right now I'm sort of leaving it fairly under defended. I mean, it is, it is defended, but <clears throat> the downside is. Uh... Let's see, actually, I might be able to make them over here somewhere as well. well could you make them okay. in Kazuke or North Shinano? Uh, I think you can make them in North Shinano. Can I make them in North Shinano? You've got, you've got a Master Dojo there, so maybe. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Actually, that's decent. Yeah, I was thinking, um, yeah, that's one that's probably better anyway. I'll start making those. Yeah. Right, I can, uh, yeah, I can also make them in at Hitachi, which I guess is maybe even fast. Oh, yeah, because you want them in your main town, don't you? You don't want them up north. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have them down uh, in the south just for now. I mean, I'll move them up later on, but... I can even make the Mishimatsuke, but then um, they're only too experienced, so I may as well have the extra experience. From, well, uh, yeah. North yeah, Shinano. but then it's like miles away, aren't they? Where is Shimatsuke? Yeah, uh, North Shinano's well, right there. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'd rather have them come up to Echigo first. And yep. I don't know if I'll be able to grab any new territory with the guys from Fukushima, but hopefully we'll try. Yeah. And if we can't, well, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. Uh, is there any more diplomacy to be done? Nope. Everyone's at war. Do you have any? Do you have a second general? I uh, don't think so. You do actually. Oh, yes, I do. I have two generals. Yeah, I'd send so. like the the second one with the army up north. Yeah, I probably should. Although the first one is my daimyo, but he's staying in the capital anyway, so. I yeah. always use the daimyo for, uh, but yeah, I know you, you like to use other generals. I don't like using the daimyo as my main general because they get assassinated all the time, or they do in the regular Shogun. I've never had the issue. <laughs> it but just the thing is, like, every time from, to me. Especially because like, if you don't level them up, he, um, all the other generals become, uh, they get a, a delusion of grandeur, which gives them minus one loyalty for every single general you've got. Yeah. That's why Although, I don't like doing that. To be fair, my daimyo has had a lot of fighting. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's now level four already. Yeah, he's had a lot of uh, a lot of defensive fighting. All right, so now I'm not sure what to do. I don't know if that Sioux army is going to be able to beat the Yodo army. If they can, I have to go there and well, take out the Sioux. If they can, they're going to take a lot of damage from doing it. Yeah, that's true. Well, seeing the Yodo is so big, that's main, probably their main army. It's probably got a decent amount of experience. I'm just going to go here. I'll be able to get to etch you in two Well, you can turns. sort of tell by the general, because the... Yeah, they're both the, two-star. Yeah, they're both two-stars, so... But if both full stack, they're both two-stars, so it should yeah. be okay. And if the Yodo are smart, they'll send over those four extra units over there, but I think they're moving them away for some reason. Yeah, I think they think they've got enough to <clears> deal with it. Yeah, probably. And if it comes down to it, the Kakagawa there have a small army they can come and help with as well. Yep. All right, so let's see. These guys go into Sagami. This army is nearly done, actually. Two, eight, ten, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, making two more bows. Actually, and then I don't. I, I do want Yari. No, I already have Yari. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I want to make the same army as the other one, I need more. Um, uh, no more cavalry. Mm-hmm. So let's make them. And then... Two more bows. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, the Yugi Guitar... Actually, what What if I give you the Yugi Guitar unit? Because um, he's amazing, but I'm not using him. And I like I don't use guns as much, so I, like, I, I don't want to move my strategies around for one stupid gun unit, as amazing as he is. Well, I'll take him. Uh, he's a bit expensive, but yeah, I'll take him. All right, I'll just I'll move him myself all the way to you, and then I'll give him to you once he gets there, so you don't have to pay the upkeep for him. Okay, if you send him to uh, a Chigo, I'll think yep. of what to do with him from there. Cool. All right, I 
I think that's that for me. I mean, yeah, I mean, my my turns aren't very long anymore. <laughs> I, I was thinking, aren't you going to attack someone? I thought, hold on, you've only got one army here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's gonna be spring next turn finally. Yeah. It's also a tiny, oh. uh, tiny Sioux army up in uh, Echu. Oh, good. That's where I'm going. Yeah, it's tiny though. It's like three units. The um, on that little island, the Saga Imperial, some something something. Oh, they, they just uh, lost the province. Yeah, yeah, they only got that one province left now. <laughs> oh well, you know, I would laugh if they lost that other province as well. <laughs> yeah. It's like good choice of vanguard there. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I, I wonder if that's their strongest. Well, it can't be because then it would have been either the Sendai or the Matsume. I was gonna say if that's their strongest clan, they gave it to. That's pretty sad. Yeah, that would be pretty sad. They fucking bombarded the province again. They did no damage though, so that's okay. I lost a uh, vision on the Yodo for some reason. I can't see. Uh, yeah, I can't either. I guess that's because they blockaded a trade route. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they have as well. Yeah. It's like I've opened up all these new trade routes and I'm still making the exact same income I was making before I started them. <laughs> Just because they've come and blockaded them immediately. Yeah. Like, For fuck's sake. On the plus side, yes. the big navy has gone away. Oh, that's good. And it's not the navy of the Sado, which is good because it means they haven't gone back to their capital to get more people to attack me with. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I thought so. So this will be good. I could actually recruit guys now, apparently. I'm not going to, but I could. Just because the stuff I could recruit would not be that good. Yeah. And I'm actually going to save until I can get... Uh, well, that's a fucking lot of money. A uh, artillery academy. Which uh, will allow me to build Armstrong guns. Oh, yes. Yes, which are very nice indeed, apparently. Let's have a look at these guys. 550 range, uh, 30 accuracy, 50 reload skill, 20 ammunition, very long range and devastating explosive shells. Very nice. And shrapnel shot. The shell explodes mid-air, sending, uh, sending deadly metal fragments down upon targeted enemy units. Once activated, there'll be a, a cooling off period. Okay, so... Sounds pretty good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It'd be um, like a, that would be a really good last volley for when they're just about to get too close in range, basically, where you won't be able to really shoot anymore. Yeah, sort of like canister shot from uh, Napoleon. Have you played Napoleon? Nope. Oh, it's a good game. I mean, I didn't like it at first, but it's good. Um, yeah, they're fucking expensive though, the Armstrong guns. Yeah. Seventeen hundred and sixty to recruit, and twenty-two. Uh, twenty-two. Uh, Two hundred and twenty upkeep. No, it's pretty so, expensive. Yeah, they are expensive, but I suppose the one after that will be Gatling guns. That requires an arsenal, which needs iron. Oh, that's the next one. First you get uh, parrot guns, and then you get Gatling. Yeah, do I have... Oh, I did use the Gatling in that video as well. They were pretty cool too. Yeah, I saw a, a, a small clip. shooting your own troops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the units came from the side. They're not very good when being flanked, but... Uh, I'm yeah. importing iron from you so that uh, that will allow me to upgrade to the the arsenal if I get enough money and I then build Gatling guns it will be worth it if I well, can Well you'll still it. have to go through the artillery academy and then the arsenal Yeah so I've still got a long way to go before that. I don't How know much do you I'm need? For, oh never mind you're already in turn. I, well I, I could build it but I need um, 6,000 200 just over 200 right so yeah I need a lot of money for that so it can wait a, w a little while uh, let's see I think I'm gonna cancel holy shit <laughs> unless you want to invest seven grand in it <laughs> honestly I will I don't have I don't have anything to spend my money on except like I could improve my buildings but like I said I'm not gonna be but I'm not how much money do you have 6k nearly I make oh, okay. like three and a half K per turn Oh, Should right, be more okay. when I get these guys off my stupid ship blockade thing. <laughs> get away. Oh my blockade? god, that was a massive ship. Oh, too bad I didn't capture it. Oh, did you kill it? Yeah. Oh. Cannot repair Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Right, where was that? Oh, the Shogun. You are next, yeah. my lord. That was, uh, I was 
broken. That was uh, in uh, over here. And now we'll make the same amount of money. I just got rid of a blockade. I'm still making the same amount of money. I guess that blockade was being blockaded on the other side as well. Yeah, I don't suppose you could <coughs> kill the Sendai Navy, could you? Which one? It's four ships up in Fukushima. Uh, probably not. Yeah. It's only got three. And, and that, if, if that last one was any indication of what the rest of them are, then that'll probably be good ships. Fair enough. It's fine. I just thought I'd ask. I'll probably go over there and see what my uh, odds are, but I doubt it. it's not going to happen. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I've made do with having my ports blockaded this long. I can, I can survive a little bit longer. Yeah, that's good. Although, I don't know how the fuck they can afford to have four ships like that and have their armies, because they only have three provinces. Yeah, it is a bit odd, isn't it? I mean, we're having... Well, not me, but you're having issues with upkeep shit. Making, that makes sense that you are, but... Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've, yeah. I've got sh two shitty armies, basically. Well, two half-stack shitty armies. Well, one's not shitty, but... Yeah, but they've got a fucking fleet, which costs a ridiculous amount to have. Yeah. The ships are ridiculously expensive. Yeah, they are. It's dumb. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the AI cheats when it comes to money. Yeah, that one was already uh, quite well known, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I knew it did in the, the original Shogun, so... Yeah. Alright, so, um, let's see. Oh, there's another. There's a legendary dojo. Jesus. How much does that cost? 9,400. Alright, that's probably what I'm saving up for then. Actually, hold on. If I cancel these units, I'll be close. Alright. Uh, in two turns, I'll be able to make a legendary dojo here. Pretty cool. I'll be able to make samurai and hero units and Shinzengumi police force, but I, yeah, we went over all that shit already. Samurai <coughs> heroes. Samurai cough. heroes. Heroes. <laughs> oh, that's going to be quite an interesting fight for Echi, actually. Yeah, I wonder how it's going to go, if, if the odds are going to be terrible again. Oh, wait, he just came back. Oh, no, no! They just took a province that I was going to take. Did they? Yeah. They uh, look at the uh, the Takayama and I split off from their own territory. Mm. Well, there's a gap oh, in between. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, maybe they'll lose it again, you never know. That'll be good, because I, I, I don't want to have provinces that aren't next to each other. Yeah, that sucks. Alright, so it seems I like have the, oh, the Yodo, the, the Yodo took care of the uh, the other guys completely. Like, they even took that, that province that they had before, the two or whatever they were called. Ah, okay. That's good. Uh, can I actually have Yugi Kitai units right now? I don't, I don't know. You, I, don't I suppose I up. should... If I do surveillance, it, it's plus two to the possible number of Yugi Kitai units. So, if I get that... I'll definitely be allowed to have at least two. So, that'll work. Yeah. The Sioux have been destroyed. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. What? Hold on. They had two provinces, now they've got nothing. Yeah, they lost them pretty quickly. Yeah, the Yodo took one and the Kagagawa took the other, so... <laughs> they got fucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that means that, that big army is gone now? Yep. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, because I was a little bit afraid that something could have happened there, but... I think uh, this, we're definitely definitely going to have some trouble when um, when we do have to attack our allies, because they look quite strong at the moment. Yeah, but, but then... by that time, of course, we'll have more armies as well, so... Well, by that time, we'll have Gatling guns. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> we're pro-Shogun, we're using Gatling guns. Fuck you. <laughs> How is that even uh... possible? This guy's the leader of the Shogun, and he's using Gatling guns. This is not fair. I borrowed them from my friend, who's a little <laughs> bit more forward than we are. <laughs> more They're a forward-thinking shogunate clan. Yes. But wait, that the shogunate will sense. only prevail if we change. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the point? Like, no. Shut up. <laughs> oh, man. The point is written by the victor. It is as well. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to go after those uh, Sendai ships. Ah, oh, finally, we can actually do something and take a town, hopefully. Uh, right, Echu. Is it going to be... Oh, it is in my favor. I think I'm just going to auto resolve it. Oh, all right. Well, you want to fight it? Oh, I'm just thinking we haven't had a fight. All right, well, in that case, I'm going to siege them out. I don't want to fight it normally, because then I, I will lose. Well, not lose, but I'll lose a lot of men. So I'll just fight it, siege them out. Okay. Should still well, be this episode, I think. 
Uh, yeah, well, you don't have to. You can alter a result if you want. I mean, it's up to you. No, no, because I was always not that good in my favor anyway. Um, okay. How many katanas do you want, by the way? Uh, as many as you're offering, really. Okay, because then I'll just keep making them. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you just pump them out and we'll use them. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. So, you know. I mean, I've got a lot of uh, spear infantry that I want to replace. I mean, a lot, so. Alright. Yeah, I'll just uh, keep making more and more then. Yeah, I mean, I can't afford to upkeep them right now. But once I start start getting rid of rid of uh, spear infantry, then I'll be able to upkeep them properly. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um. Right. So I think that is me done again. Ah. Oh. This is fun, isn't it? Oh yeah. I hope they attack me this turn. <laughs> that would be good, actually. I'd enjoy yeah. that. Same. I don't think they will, though. Nope. They they have like they barely have anything besides guns, so they're gonna come charging at me with guns, which is good. My bows I don't know what just apart. happened there. He got rid of his ship or something. Yeah. Yodo. I want to be playing as a Yoda. <laughs> what, little green men? <laughs> yeah. It's completely different, like, like a mod or something. I would love to have a mod that turned all of your guys into little Yodas. <laughs> you ran around the, in the, the around the field with, instead of having katanas, having lightsabers. Having oh, green. man. That would be awesome. I would love that. I'm not even a Star Wars fan. I, even I would like that. Star Wars DLC for uh, Total War. That'd be amazing. It would. Yeah, actually, that could kind of work. Right. It's, it would definitely work with Napoleon. Yeah. Because uh, you've already got... It's all line fire there anyway. You could easily do that with stormtroopers and <laughs> rebel troopers. Yeah, but the stormtroopers would never kill anyone. Sure they would. They always miss. Well, they, they only miss when it's not an important character. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> if it's an important character, they always miss. But then that's the same with all uh, all uh, movie bad guys, True, except yeah. when they're supposed to hit them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just outmanlying each other. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, my army in uh, Ichigo is finally fully, you know, replenished. It's gonna get bombarded wow. and killed now. <coughs> that took a while. Yeah, it did. Well, it's because it kept getting bombarded. Yeah. And it's going to get bombarded again, I almost guarantee it. Yes! My right. agents level up. Hooray! The one I'm not using. <laughs> now we can win. Yes. <laughs> Minus two to happiness and enemy provinces versus management. I was going to say, why would you want that? But it's yeah. an enemy provinces. Sure, go for it. I suppose he's going for a walk then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, converting provinces and assassinate or assassinating. Uh, I think actually converting provinces might be a good thing. Oh, yeah. that's something I haven't even thought about. I actually have to deal with that shit. All right, this Shinsengumi, I think it's gonna s just send them north. Is he keeping this town happy? Yeah, but not happy enough. All right, Shinsengumi, go on a run. All right, sadly they didn't attack me, but they they have to surrender within two turns anyway. And as long as we keep this turns fast, it should be fine. Yeah. And I'm making that so. Well, I have nothing to do after I well, after I reach uh, Fukushima. I need to decide what to do. Do right. I go up towards Miyagi or do I go up towards Uzen? Uh, hold on, uh, Uzen Miyagi. Um, I would use your geisha, send your geisha that way, and see what they've got in what they've got in Uzen, and if they've got nothing there, go to Miyagi instead. That's a good idea. I'll have to wait there for a few turns to get the gate shot over there, but that's alright. Yeah, actually, I could probably send one of mine that are over here. Uh, well, don't really need to, to be honest, because if you're going to take Echu, then I don't really need you, need you to be watching that direction, so... Yeah, that's true. Alright, that's fine then. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Enter. Annoyingly, the Sado have their fleet right outside my area, otherwise I could build a ship and take an invasion force over and kill them. Well, you can you can actually still make ships even if you're being blockaded. Yeah, but they'll just kill it immediately because they've got five ships. No, no, because no, if your ship is inside the port, they can't actually attack it. They can only blockade the port. Yeah, they can. They, they attacked yours in port before. Oh, maybe it's different in Fall of the Samurai then, because I know they can't do it in regular Shogun 2. Yeah, because I remember it was like, I don't know, maybe ten episodes ago. You put your ships inside the port and you were like, Oh, they can't attack me here, and then they did it anyway. Oh, right. Oh my so, god, this one was always basically 100%, but I'll fight it just because you want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that is... yeah, that, that's pretty harsh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they've got all fucking... 
line infantry, that's why. Yeah, it's going to be a fun fight. Well, you outrange them, so they're going to have to come to you, and you'll be shooting them before they get anywhere near you. Yeah, and it takes so, much, so many casualties because they've got no armor. Ooh, a nice hill for me to sit up on as well. Yeah, that will help your range. Yeah. Can't actually see the map yet, but... Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. Yeah, that's yeah, an you, amazing you... hill. I can't see well, it. Well, like you said, you had a big hill, so... Yeah, and it's the only hill in the entire thing as well. Oh, Plus, nice. when they get into range, they'll be uh, like my men will be able to charge down on them as well. Yeah, and that'll really cut down the uh, the charge time. They're actually going to be like in a ditch. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like perfect. The only thing that would make it better is if we had trees and they didn't. But I can't ask for everything. Well, you got a couple of trees. <laughs> like two of them. Uh, <laughs> let's all stand behind this one in the line. <laughs> you could do it. <laughs> Just yeah, that would be great. Oh, what you could do is just have all your guns in the center and have all your melee units on the flank. Yeah, I probably will uh, do something like that. Yeah. And, and then like one of the front guys is like, they're nearly here. And then he tells it to the guy behind him and then the guy behind him tells it to the guy behind him. is like, they're nearly here, they're nearly here. And then halfway through the message get, like, gets like um, different and then, <laughs> <laughs> then no one knows what's going on anymore. And By the last guy, you end up with a Chinese takeaway order. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's do. Uh... But you've also got cavalry, so keep that in mind. Yeah, I know. I was going to give you the cav. And it's going to okay. set up. Let's see. Where do you want me to put them? Uh, on the. Both flanks, one flank. Hey, you know what? I'll I'll give you um. Four katanas as well, and then you can flank okay. with that because I really don't need that much melee. Okay, which side do you want me on? Uh, then you can do both sides, I guess. Like either four katana on one and, and cavalry on, on the other, or just two and two. Or whatever you want to do, really. It's uh, your... Well, I think two and two is probably going to be more effective, so let's do that. Alrighty. Okay. Ready? Oh, nearly. Yeah, nearly. Alright, that'll do. Yep. Okay. Today, sir, we defend. Today, sir, we defend. Alright. Oh, actually, yeah, this this hill is great because I don't think they'll have a an actual shot at me. Like, they won't be able to shoot me. Yeah, and you'll be just arching arrows over them. Yeah, exactly. Them. Yeah, whatever you call it. Yeah. That word. That oh, one word. reinforcements coming in as well. Oh, no. Hmm. Levy infantry. Levy infantry. Levy infantry. Yeah, is that so? Yep, that's what they've got, and they've got funny hats on. They, they are pretty cool hats, to be honest. To be honest here. <laughs> they look like they're covered in wallpaper. So look. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, the levy infantry ones. Yeah, on the right. Hold on. Levy, Levy uh, Garrison, or just Levy... I don't know, whichever ones are on the far right. That's, uh, that's a matchlock catchy. No, of the reinforcements. Oh, right, sorry, reinforcements. Ah, yeah. Ah, Levy Infantry, you're right. That's yeah. what they are called. Oh yeah, they have pretty funny hats on, let's be honest there. Yeah, they do. I do want, to, I want one of them. Yeah. They're sort of like, um... What are they? Portuguese conquistador hats. <laughs> yeah, they are. Like if I had a uh, a job interview, I would wear one of those hats. <laughs> oh, that would be amusing. It would be. All right. Oh, you're pulling the uh, the reinforcements uh, far around. Are the uh, the what do you, what do you call those people? In, uh, uh, the flankers. flanking. Yes. Yeah, I as just long don't, they don't actually, shot, that's Yeah, it. I was going to say, as long as they don't go for you. It looks like the Levy are just completely ignoring the flank. Yeah, well, if they uh, if they do go for me, I'll just pull back. Yeah, I guess that's good. I'll just triple speed it for a while, because this isn't going anywhere. Yeah, that's fine. There's three general units, alright. Does he? Yeah. Hmm, not for long he doesn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he will not. No. Fucking hell, can you just run over here? What I don't understand is how is this? Look at the battle meter. How is that so much in their favor now? When before on the auto resolve it was in my favor. Like, 
Uh, like, it's, it's, not still in their... in, it's still in your favour. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's it's a lot more in their favour than it was. Yeah, I don't know. All right, they are they are ignoring my flanking force. Good. Well, it actually means you can just charge them right in the side. Oh yeah. <laughs> That was the plan all along. Uh, General, there's four units to the left of us, two cavalry and two katanas. Just just ignore them. We'll go for the main force instead. Uh. But we could kill them right now. No, no, just... They, <laughs> they'll never expect this. Fools no. to the left and jokers to the right, and they're stuck in the middle <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so bad. Terrible. No, it had to be done. Your mom had to be done. Oh, oh sick burn. <laughs> oh god. No, I fire arrows. Oh, yeah, I do as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow up their guns in their own faces. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> Make it a thing. <laughs> if it's not a thing. It should be a thing. Oh my god, this triple speed is so terribly slow. Oh, it makes it lag so much when you're not moving the camera. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm always moving the camera in, on triple speed. It's hard to select and click units when you're dragging the mouse, though. Do I need to put in uh, normal speed or something? Uh, that might not hurt at this point. Alright, then you need there anyway. Yeah. Yeah, their right flank is gonna overwhelm on a little bit, so. But I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get in there before they even get a shot off. Oh, yeah, definitely. The cavalry will be there long before they. Um, uh... They are never gonna have a shot until they're right in front of my face. Yeah. On, on my uh, archers. There we go. That is such a good place to be at. <clears throat> Alright, we're running into position now. Cool. Oh, you're just gonna put right behind them, the cavalry. Oh yeah. Cool. Their their guns are still not turning around to your uh, katanas. Nope. <laughs> just just ignore them. Maybe they'll go away. <laughs> yeah, they're not there. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend they don't exist. It's all in our imagination. Yeah. Actually, since they can't hit any of my men anyway, I'm gonna move up my uh, melee units here, just in case he gets uh, plans with his cavalry. Yeah. Any ideas? Yeah. I would love to just go and swarm his general right now. Oh, looks like his general does get an idea now. He's put his infantry forward, let's go now! <laughs> yep, they're coming. I did put my Yari... One of the line infantry is moving back as well. Oh, they took a shot and killed a horse. That's not fair. What? How dare they? Yeah, I know, right? Alright, we're firing. All right, we're coming in. All right, fire our time. Blow up their guns. I'm sure it's a tactic we can use. <laughs> oh, oh, your guns. Oh, your katanas. Whatever. Oh, man. I was like, no, there's there's a katana unit there, but that's your uh, sorry, a uh, uh, cavalry unit there, but that's your cavalry unit. Yep. Or actually, since we're right here, I might as well run up my um, infantry as well. Yeah, they're actually starting to shoot right now. <laughs> Just in time. That's all right. There we go. They're all breaking over here. Cool. Yeah, this should be a pretty quick fight, quickly won battle. Looks like it. Oh, well, that was a good charge. There you go. Oh, there's a spear levy and uh, garrison unit there, though. I'll we'll try and get them in the back. Oh, yeah. Well, that's fine. We'll just pull back. Yeah, I'll try and catch them. Sure, we got uh, the Katana coming from the other side. Victory is assured. Well, isn't that great? <laughs> it is. Alright, I think. Oh, there's only one or two units left. And there they go. Sweet. Yep. I barely lost anything, and I reckon you maybe lost a few of the katanas, but not, nothing you could have done uh, about that. Um, yeah, a few katanas, a few cab, not too many. Cool. Nothing at all. Decisive victory, well, I would have expected that. Like I said, the auto resolve was, like, I would have probably lost maybe five men or something, so... 
Yeah, I, I'm genuinely surprised they allowed us to flank them so badly. Actually, yeah. it went a little bit too far away with the flanking force there, but it was yeah, but fun. otherwise they may have like gone after you instead. Yeah, I, I wanted to stay out of range as long as possible. So. Yeah, it was a bit weird. Yeah, they just completely ignored you. Yeah, they did. I'm sure so. they won't come after us. <laughs> I'm sure they're just trying to leave. Yeah, maybe they don't see us. They they see our tremendous force and they're like, oh, let's get out of here. They're intimidated. Yeah. Yeah, that must be it. All right, lost 264 men. It's pretty acceptable. Yeah. Cool. And a town. Actually, no, we didn't get the town. This general even leveled up. Fuck that shit. <laughs> oh, more bombardments. Only one ship, though. That's good. Yeah. Blockaded port. And bombarded the town. Which didn't seem to do any... Oh, it, they bombarded my Katana Kachi. And oh. killed 28 men. Acceptable. It's going to take two turns to recover. It is unacceptable. It's a good thing you're getting new ones. Yeah, I suppose so. Alright, so it will take uh, another four turns to get up towards Uzen. No, five turns to get up towards Uzen with the... Uh, what's her face? Uh huh. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Fucking levy infantry. I don't want any levy infantry, that crap. Well, actually, they've got better reload skill than the matchlock catchy right now. No, they don't. What am I talking about? What are you talking about? I have no talking idea. Talking out of your ass. I am. I'm, I'm getting the two units completely mixed up. I'm looking at looking at one and giving it the name of the other one. Unacceptable. Yeah, I know, right? So, uh, I don't think I have anything to do. No, I could build some wooden cannons. Wow. Damn, I'm son. Let, let's not do that, and let's just end turn. All right, I'm just gonna do one more turn. I think. Actually, no. This, yeah, this will be the last turn. I think. Yeah. Finish Asia increased in rank. Ooh, what's this? To fell a foe. Ah, mission. Eliminate a general, and I get plus two morale of all land units for twelve turns. That's not bad. That's easy. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna do that right now. Yeah. Because uh, I think I will just auto resolve this battle now. I expect you will do, though I have hardly anything there, when Wow, it's actually still pretty decent, but I think, again, the battle meter on the defensive battles is just weird. Yeah, I lost 49 men, even though it was quite far in their favor. Well, not far in their favor, but somewhat. Yeah. They had considerable favor. Yeah. Alright, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Twelve, two morale for all land units. Hey. Uh, so I'm going to repair that. I could move out and try and kill those three units out. I think I will. They probably run. Actually, they can't run, can they? No, they just uh, sweet. They just have been didn't lose anyone. <laughs> Surprisingly, sweet. What's more surprising is that you managed to get back into town again. Yeah, yeah, because it didn't actually look like I was going to there. No, especially considering like you just attacked it, so you would have lost a lot of movement from that. Yeah, I'm like a police oh, well. station there, mm. and I'm gonna keep moving my shins and gumi. All right. Uh, problems captured. I don't really have anything else to do. Making more men there and making more men in North Shinano. I can already send uh, four units over if you actually yeah, might as well. Yeah, the, sure. Yeah, I can make use of them. So. And then that um, this unit will be there in a few turns as well. The uh, Yuka Kita unit. All right. Well, good. if you can hold on to them for a few more turns. Yeah, I'll just, just leave them in your own territory. Them. Yeah. Because uh, I don't really want to take control of them until I've attacked in the north. Cool. Because basically, uh, this what are you is doing? a good day, a friendly visit, good conversation, and perhaps a profitable oh, okay. outcome for all. Might as well. All right. What the hell happened to my income? <laughs> what right. happened to my income? <laughs> what the. Fuck, I just realized t making that legendary dojo is going to take 15 turns. Oh Jesus, that's <laughs> ridiculous. That is harsh. Yeah. But probably totally worth it. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we should... Um, oh wait, I should level up my Keisha before I forget. Yeah, that might, that might help. You... Oh, I can smell something cooking downstairs and it's lovely. Nice. Mm -hmm. right, take both those points and enchanting enemies or... Yeah, nope, enchanting enemies. Also, I think, let's see, how many agents do I have? I think I'm going to need all of them. Oh, I only have one more Shinzengumi. It's sitting in Itachi. Yeah, he can move out as well. I'm going to start moving him up to front lines as well, because I actually need to have people that can make towns happy in, up the front lines. And scouts. 
Yeah, and scouts as well. I'm gonna make more of those shins and gummies. Can I make any more? Oh, I can make. I cannot record a shinobi as because I don't have any money. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can have more shins and gummies. So I think I will make more. Should have probably done that to begin with, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, you should, we should end it there. I think. Okay. So what happened? Uh, I've done not a lot really. I mean, I've sort of just got everything ready to to move on soon. And you've taken Etchu. Did you I take have. anything else? Uh, just no, Etchu? just Etchu. I was t I took me the entire episode to get there. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, the the Yoda over here. Oh, no, not there. The the uh, Miyazu. They've lost a few territories. I have. That's not a bad thing because it means it's more territories for me to take. Yeah, I mean, they also gained one. Uh, they've uh, taken another one on the, um, yeah, the island. Kirby island. Yeah, that's what I call it too. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> that's where the Chosokabi come from, therefore it's the Chosokabi Island. Yep. Whatever the fuck it's supposed to be called. And uh, yeah, we have allies in the middle now, so we've got a buffer between us and our actual enemies. Yeah, it's pretty and good. They'll probably work their way through those guys, because I don't think they're actually going to survive that. Uh, to be honest, I'm not too bothered by it, because it just means it's going to be, um, like, as long as we have some allies that do uh, give us, like, the extra 10 provinces that we need that are aligned to Shogun, it's fine. But if, if we have too many allies that uh, are enemies of our nodes, then we're going to have a bigger problem. So I'd rather they actually get eaten away a little bit, and we only have uh, one or two allies left. That'll be yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm sure they're going to get eaten, like, right now. Yeah. So, even though they have a bunch of territories that we need to have... We'll they be able to move to the Yeah, west and the good thing they is killed, they're probably so. all pro Shogun territory, so if we're, if I'm fast enough I might be able to keep some of that influence without it being converted to pro imperial bullshit. Yeah, which would be nice. So Emperor. we will have to see how that progresses. And of course now that you've taken out Echu, the Sado only have one province left, so they're less of an issue to me. Yeah. So I'm far more free to go and attack the Sendai now. Yeah. So that should hopefully start coming into effect in well probably the next episode indeed if not next episode then the one afterwards so very shortly yay autonomy's finding an attack stuff yeah i'm finally able to do something so you <laughs> got to come back and watch that happen all right see you then guys